three, two, one. Oh, that didn't work. What I'm doing today is I'm gonna be recreating that special effect from everything, everywhere, all at once. And I'm gonna be doing this entirely on my own. I have to leave here at six, so I have eight hours. <laughs> So I've used Shot Designer to be able to kind of really plan out this shoot and give myself a top-down plan so I know exactly what shots I have to get and what gear I have to use to get it. With 99% of special effects, they tend to be made from multiple layers of video, all carefully filmed and then stacked on top of each other seamlessly to create the effect. From analyzing this shot, I think they've made it from two to three layers and they probably had a big confetti cannon to blow through the shirt. I don't. So, I'm gonna be splitting my shot into four layers instead of three. Let's bring in some gear. This is a 600 watt aperture light. It's brilliant and super punchy. I would thoroughly recommend, if you're gonna buy a light, make sure you've got enough left over for something like this. This is a flag, and this will save you so much. It'll take everything from adding extra light to taking light away. Really super, super handy. That's the mark. Yes, I know it's a cat blanket, but you know what, it doesn't really matter what it is because it's a mark. And if you're doing an effect, Having marks for where things are meant to go when you take them out and put them in is so imperative, otherwise the whole effect will not work. As you may have noticed, the light has changed entirely outside. So because of this whole kind of light problem, it's made me realize that I need to do what I think a lot of special effects teams do and a lot of films do is they take control of the light on their set. And I think the best way for me to do that is to literally reduce or get rid of the impact of the sun because the sun is constantly changing, right? And when I come to put all those layers together later, well, the sun will be in a slightly different position for each layer. And well, that's probably a big problem. I think probably the best bet is let's remove the sun, let's add my own light and make this scene under our control. Now, I really like that window being in the shot. I don't really wanna have to draw my curtains. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that great big light there and I'm gonna recreate the sun. Striking. My frame is not wide enough. Make sure to do tons of tests. The more tests you do, the better off you will be because, well, honestly, you just will. Make sure to do tons of tests. Make sure what to do. 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 Film it for 20 to 30 seconds. So I need a wider green screen than this, but if I bring it too close, I'll end up with a load of green spill. And we roll. Fucking Oscars, man. So the next challenge is gonna be allowing the jumper to drop in a controlled way, but still make it look as though I was in it just moments before. So. Let's get creative. This is a homemade snow shovel and, well, it actually just happens to be roughly the same width as, well, me. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get some newspaper on this bad boy, make it fill out a little bit, cause you know, I've got some shoulders. And action. Three, two, one. Oh, that didn't work. Now to jump into DaVinci Resolve and put it all together. To do this special effect, we're gonna be starting off by thinking about it in layers. So the first layer is the clean plate. Then after that, we want to layer up 
each part of the explosion. I think we're actually going to have to correct this ourselves. Yeah, that's slightly better, but I've got a ways to go yet. I don't have much time left. I'm getting there, I'm getting somewhere. This is starting to look really good. Maybe we were slightly rough around the edges at times, but overall, the effect works. We lined up the jumper and the exploding Oscar performance better than the original, I think. You know what? For less than a fiver, you can't complain at that. Special effects like this are only as good as the story that they're trying to tell. So I thoroughly recommend checking out this episode here on the Dan Harmon Story Circle to give you the best chance at creating the best story.